Go. Seven with uh, airsoft. TFA would need airsoft. And um, today I have a review of my D Boy Scar H. It fires about 430 FPS. The whole upper receiver up here is metal. Some of this is metal. The grip is plastic and it's an M4 grip. I like that. Um, the magazine is not so long and doesn't get in your way. Like if you want to go prone, it won't stand itself up uh, on the mag. So that's good. Uh, I got it on Airsoft GI for around $200. They took a bunch of money off because the buttstock, you can fold it. But when you fold it, it doesn't lock. So like... Um, but foot stock is polymer and the battery goes in the stock, even though no wires. I don't know how they do that. I think they, I, I don't know. Um, no wires. So, battery goes inside of here. I'm not going to take it out because it's a pain in the butt to get in, but pull out this pin and, um, pull this up. You can jam it in there and then plug it in. And there's some room right here. If you are a bigger person, not fatter, but taller longer then you can pull the stock out more and it'll have a lot more space for the battery so yeah and I've got a 4x32 yeah uh, BSA red dot scope it's got a red dot in it uh, it's pretty nice but I've still got the front iron sight up just in case you know it goes down um, magazine holds about 450 rounds they're very hard to find extra mags for this gun but I found some on GI. Thanks, GI. Um, and they're 30 bucks, so pretty expensive for just one magazine. But they, I can't find any low caps. I, I can only find high caps. So, um, is that it? Anything else? I should talk about Don't think so. Oh, uh, bolt. Um, the bolt, pull it back, metal gearbox, then just hit this little thing, little, little thing right here. And the, the back iron sight. Sucks. I leave it on there just because I want to. But the iron sights suck on this gun. The back one doesn't focus very well and it gets stuck, so you can't move it. And the front one wobbles around a whole bunch. 